Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing some Abercrombie jeans, just in time for the Abercrombie biannual jean sale, which is actually happening August 9th through August 12th. I kind of have a little love-hate relationship with Abercrombie jeans, just because they have the whole, just like standard sizing, and then they have the curved love. So unless you know that there are two different sizings, you may have ran into the same situation that I have, where like, you know, being Latina with these hips, you know, we need a little bit more room with like the backside and my hips. So there's been a few times where I just accidentally grabbed the standard sizing. And then once I learned that they had the curve love, which is actually for more curvier um, gals like you and me, then that's whenever I started finding items that actually fit me from the waist below. These are actually some of their newer styles. So I'm excited to share these with you now. I do still have the tag on them. I'm not gonna be keeping them all, but I kind of wanted to see like the styling and like the fit of each of them. They're all the exact same size. I am now up to, <laughs> I say up to because I feel like I just I can't uh, anyways that's like a, another video for another day but I'm uh 29 eight regular I'm got regular because a lot of the times they're a little bit shorter and I actually prefer it to be a little bit shorter where it hits right around the ankle just so I can highlight footwear you know and I know we're going into fall but it does not get that cold here in Texas so we're wearing sandals well into November and Thanksgiving, so it's fine. If you do decide to get like more of a flare jean, then flares, I actually do like them to go all the way down, so I will get them in a long. I am 5'6 for size reference, so just to kind of give you like, as to like how it kind of fits, I feel like if you're 5'4 and under, you probably should go ahead and get the short version. If you're between, you know, 5'4 to like, five, seven, and you want them to hit right at your ankle, I think a regular sizing is gonna be good for you. And they're a little bit on the taller side, I would say like maybe like five, five eight and above, you wanna go ahead and get that long um, sizing. So they do have the short, uh, regular and long, so you can kind of like play around with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and share these jeans. Okay, first on my list are the 90s straight jean in bin rise. So, you know, I am I love high rise jeans just because I like them to like hit right where my belly button is. It's kind of like, go over my hip area. I just feel like that's the most flattering look for me. So the mid rise is gonna be a little bit below that. I'm not going back to low rise jeans at all. <laughs> like, don't make it happen guys. Gen Z, I'm looking at you guys like, please don't make that happen because uh, as a mom of two, like it's just not gonna happen for me. So um, mid rise or above is it for me. So the 90s straight jean kind of like fits kind of like a 90s jeans where it's just like a straight jean going from your hip all the way down. I really like this wash, especially going trans transitioning from like summer into fall. I feel like fall, uh, you can kind of put away some of the lighter denim and start going a little bit into darker denim. I just feel like the um, color palettes that we wear a lot in the fall, a lot of neutrals, a lot of taupes, browns, tans, beiges, they just look really good with this type of like medium wash. So this one actually has a little bit of distressing here on the knees. So as you can see, they have the whole, so this is a really more of a casual jean. This is probably not something that I would wear if you are looking for like a business casual workwear outfit, like a casual Friday for work, but this is a great weekend wear. It also has a little bit of distressing here by the pocket. So just a fun pair of jeans. I really enjoy these. Even though I got the same sizing from all three jeans, I really liked this fit. I feel like it kind of was like a little bit shorter or maybe it was just the cut of the jean, but it, it just felt like the hem was a little bit shorter, which I really liked to again, highlight footwear, but just a great pair of jeans. It's not too rigid. It has minimal stretch as well. So if you're looking for something more like a jogging or like a stretchy, stretchy jean, this is not going to be it for you. Again, not super rigid, but just like a true day. Okay, next up, I have the 90s straight ultra high rise. So while the cuts on the legs are similar between this one and the one I showed previously, this one is ultra high rise, which ironically, I thought that I would enjoy the ultra high rise a lot more than the mid rise, but I actually enjoyed the mid rise a lot better. I felt like it just looked better on me. This one was a little bit too constricting. I felt like very uncomfortable 
in it. I do like the hue. Again, very casual uh, pair of denim. It has the two holes here on the knees. So it looks really great if you're looking for something that's very casual and like you can play down with some flip flops going to later summer, early fall. These were just a little bit too uncomfortable. Again, like I think that maybe at some point like two high rise might get a little uncomfortable. So I think between a high rise and a mid rise is where I feel more comfortable with the jeans, the ultra high rises. I think I've actually tried a Levi's pair, uh, which I actually have a Levi's review, which I will link here if you wanna go check out that video. But I have a Levi's um, jean that I had also tried that was ultra high rise. And I stumbled into the same issue where it was just really uncomfortable. I felt like it was like in my ribs. And so I think between a high rise and a mid rise is really where us uh, a little bit curvier girls might enjoy. I think the ultra high rise is just a little bit too much, but I really liked the wash for this one, especially for how casual it felt. So I'll actually have to go in and see if the previous pair that I shared actually had comes in this wash because I really like this wash for more of a casual jean. I know I said lighter denim we can like leave in the summer, but this is still kind of uh, between that light, light denim and the medium. It's kind of like in between. So it's a good transitional pair of jeans. And then finally I have this pair. This is the 90s relaxed high rise. So again, I showed you a ultra high rise, which I thought was a little bit uncomfortable. I showed you the mid rise and then this one's just the high rise again in the same size as the other ones. I did not think I would like the relaxed fit, but it's actually one of my favorites, especially if you are more in a work environment, because I don't know about you, but when I worked in my corporate job, if we wore jeans, you cannot have any holes or frays or any like, you know, like it has to just be a very classic pair of denim. And this one is it. I think I found the perfect one. Even the wash is very professional and elevated. So if you're looking for something that you want to kind of dress up a little bit, I think you'll really enjoy this pair. This one was by far the most comfortable of all the pairs. And again, I really enjoyed the way that it fell. I would pair this type of jean with more of a little bit of a heel. So even if it's a kitten heel, just something that's a little bit more elevated than wearing it with like loafers or tennis shoes. I feel like this, if you wear it with loafers and tennis shoes, it's gonna really kind of shorten you know, your bottom half. But if you pair it with a heel, even if it's just a small heel, I feel it can kind of elevate um, your whole look because it is a relaxed jean. It's not gonna be uh, accentuating like your legs or anything. Like it's literally very relaxed and straight. I feel like it's even a little bit more wider than a true 90s straight jean. So, but it falls really nicely. So I think that you'll really enjoy this pair as well. There are three pairs of Abercrombie jeans that you can expect to be on sale during the Abercrombie biannual. Biannual just does not uh, like, would you say semi-annual? Semi-annual means, semi is like two, so is bi-annual. They're marketing it as bi-annual, but it just does not roll off the tongue as semi-annual sale. Anyways, they have the sale usually twice a year. Once is usually like right before back to school, which, you know, it's uh, August, so going into back to school. And then they also have another one late winter, early spring. So you can expect it around uh, February, March um, time. So if you are on the hunt for some new denim, especially for either back to school, or if you're a teacher, you need some new like school appropriate denim, or even for corporate jobs or work jobs, if you wear jeans and you want to revamp your jeans collection and then definitely a good sale to start off last year it was 40 percent off they have not at this time sent out the details of it but i do have a blog post which i'll link down below from last year uh and i will update it as soon as i get the details about like the actual promo code to use and how much will be off i have a feeling it's going to be 40 percent off which is a really really great deal so uh, I will leave those details down below, as well as all the jeans and the washes that you saw on me today, I will leave down below so that you can take a look at those. Uh, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this little Abercrombie haul. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.